everyone, it's Sammy Caps. Today, I want to discuss the pros and cons of developers choosing to release games before they are completely done, otherwise known as early access. There's been some recent examples, and I want to explore this topic. Now, before we get into it, this video isn't early access is bad or early access is a must to succeed. I can present solid examples that support both strategies. This video is simply about having an open dialogue about the topic. I'm going to go over some recent examples and speak to what players really need to expect when purchasing an early access game, in my opinion. Now, I personally feel there's no right or wrong answer here. Every game and developer is different. And there are too many variables to simply support one position or the other. That is why so many game developers struggle with what to do. Because it's not a one-size-fits-all when it comes to early access. Anyway, I hope you'll join me and stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Now, before we get into it, I do want to say one other thing. And that is, in today's day and age, we're always going to have negative comments. So even an S-tier game will have negative comments regardless of how good it is we're still going to get negativity when it comes to reviews so please keep that in mind when we're going over a couple of the games that i'm going to go over so the first recent example that i want to go over as far as early access topic is a game that was released just about a week more than a week ago it was as the developers have claimed and marketed prior to the early access release on April 18th, I believe, was the fact that they wanted to change the ARPG landscape. They were fans themselves. They played those games and they wanted to advance the ARPG landscape. They wanted, the, the game has been referred to as a balance between a Diablo type game and a Dark Souls type game. If you blend it to, that's what you get with this game. And the game I'm referring to that chose to go into early access. And again, the developers communicated to us via their marketing that the reason why they chose to do early access is they felt they were at a point in development that they had done enough and they wanted to put the game in the player's hands, let them experience it, provide feedback so they could further advance the game. Now, of course, it's early access. So for most of us, we accept that early access means the game is not finished. It still needs to be worked. If the game was finished, then obviously it would be released as a full release. Um, so that's what we went into on April 18th. And the game I'm referring to is No Rest for the Wicked. Now, I personally played this game and I had a lot of fun. And yes, there was a lot of issues specifically performance issues. No Rest for the Wicked started off, and there's the launch on April 18th on the left of the chart. And as you can see, things have gone down. Um, they peaked at 36,000. There's 13,000 players playing it currently. And even with all these issues, they still have a very positive review on SteamDB. Uh, almost if we round up 77,000, uh, so sorry, 77%, which is really, you know, that's a good score, even with all the problems they had. Now, kudos to No Rest for the Wicked, the developers, Moon Studios, who have literally started doing hot fixes literally the day the game released and performance improvements have been made literally almost every day. Um, so the game is getting better and better and better. But I want to highlight one comment, uh, or sorry, one review. And again, take this with a grain of salt. It's one review, guys. However, I think it represents and highlights a problem when it comes to early release, early access games. Because I think as gamers, sometimes we have an unrealistic expectation and 
even though we're told early access, some of us want full release. Um, so this is a phenomenon. I, I, I don't know a phenomena. Uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. And I understand it in today's world. Everybody wants everything now quick. I get it. Right. However, I, I don't understand what developers are supposed to do when they label a game early access. That in itself tells you the game's not finished. Right. However, um, Here's what I want to highlight. And that is, here's one of the reviews. Now they, this is literally 24 hours into the game being released and they put not recommended and he goes or he or she goes into the good, goes into the bad and goes into the ugly. And as you can see here, the good is the game is beautiful. Moving and hitting stuff is satisfying. There's unique, this is a unique game. It's rich in customization. The bad resource collecting penalty. So it goes on to say about the act, you know, all the bad things and then the ugly. Okay. And of course, I'm no surprise here. The first thing that's mentioned on the ugly is performance issues. Like I said in the beginning, um, no rest for the wicked was just eating up like PCs, even moderate to high end PCs. Now, I never had an issue with my uh, PC getting crazy burned up. I did have a couple of times I got kicked out, but look, a lot of people were reporting it. So obviously it was happening. And the fact that the, the you know, Moon Studios have made enhancements to improve performance just confirms the fact that there was, you know, big time uh, performance issues with the game, which they have slowly rectified. But this is not the point of what I want to highlight, because the thing that I want to really highlight here is the last thing he writes, he or she writes under um, the ugly section. And that is, like I said, I hope the game gets better so I can rewrite this review. Now, remember, he put not recommended. I think it has a lot of potential, but I don't want to spoil my experience with an unfinished product. It's early access. You knew it was an unfinished product prior to buying it. Yet, they went on Steam they put a not recommended, which impacts <laughs> impacts the game's review. Um, and this is what they put. I don't want to ruin my experience with an unfinished product. Now, I did the same thing. Now, I never left a review, but I stopped playing No Rest for the Wicked because I want to wait until they get all this stuff out of the game and that all the improvements that need to be made. The game is unfinished to a certain degree, in my opinion. However, I know this is early access, so I didn't go on to Steam and leave a negative review because I feel the game is not finished. I already knew walking in that this game was going to need improvements. So I accept the fact I didn't leave a not recommend. So again, I'm not here to say this is wrong or this is right. I'm just trying to talk about the topic of early access. And really, I want to focus the light on as gamers. Do we have an unrealistic expectation of early access? This person knew the game was early access. The game's not finished or else it'd be full release yet. They left a negative review because the game wasn't finished, right? So that's one point. The other thing that I would like to address on a recent highlight is another strategy that one game developer, and it's actually one person, believe it or not, and that is this game, Manor Lords. Now, 
I would have never heard of this game if it wasn't for my community who mentioned it to me a couple of times. And I looked into it. It's a survival game. It's a medieval strategy game. Really, it's a survival in the med medieval times, but I'm not here to discuss that. But they are having tremendous success. Tremendous. 87% approval rating on Steam. Look at this. They slammed 173,000 is the peak. Um, right now, there's almost 80,000 players playing the game. This game is a one-man show. Apparently, there's one person, one, a team of one that has made this game. It's just crazy. It's the most top wish listed game on Steam right now. I think over 3 million, if I'm not mistaken. I think they sold a million in 24 hours. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I, I believe that's what I read. Um, but anyway, I'm not here to pump their tires. I will pump their tires on one thing, and that is how this game, again, early access, okay? However, this one guy, the one developer, took a different approach when it comes to early access. And what I'd like to highlight is what he did prior to the game being available for early access. And that is the fact that he put a letter out on Steam letting people know what was going on and here is what the document said. A few words from the dev, one person, before the launch into early access. And I'm going to read to you because this is brilliant in my mind and is why it correlates to the 87% approval rating. Number one, the game is good. I'm playing it right now. I'm loving it. Um, but he also set expectations. And here's what he said. Hey, everyone, it's been quite a journey so far, but it won't stop on April 26. During development, the core tester group was around 130 people, yada, yada, yada. But I want to address a few things for everyone who intends on buying the game on April 28th. And this is what I love. He tells you what this game is not. And it's right in his communication what this game is not. Mana Lords is not a Total War competitor. I'm not going to read everything, guys. But he goes on to just list. It's not Empire Management. It's not an RPG either. It's not a competitive fast-paced RTS. This will be an early access release. Yes, it must be disappointing. But I think it's the right choice. It's my first serious game. And not only some stuff is still unfinished, but I bet you guys will ask me to change some things you don't necessarily like, but I want to pursue an open development strategy. Wow. Like when I read this, I was just in awe of how brilliant of a move this is. Of a back and forth between me and you, I think it worked great for the game so far. I'm comparing to times where there wasn't even a testing group and I was developing in a bubble. Anyway, he goes on and on and on and on how reception has been positive. And he even goes to say, talk about a roadmap, because I'm sure he's getting a lot of, are you going to be adding this? What, what? When are you going to be adding that? What's the, you know, he's already getting inundated because he already has gone from developing by himself to having a test group. And he says it right here. I do not plan on releasing a roadmap yet. I've made a mistake once or twice before of promising and working on a feature only to find out that the testers didn't care as much and I did and that they actually wanted something else. So even if I have a plan, I want to adopt a philosophy of listen, verify, implement. This way, I expect the first month of patches to be just fixes and polish. During that time, together with Hooded Horse, we'll be collecting your feedback and then prior prioritizing work based on what we hear. Okay? And he goes on to talk about other things. And then at the end, as always, thanks for following and all the support. I'll certainly keep the updates more frequent here once the early access officially starts. Have a good one. Greg. 
the one developer, Greg, 87% approval rating, 173,000. There's almost 80,000 players playing. He set the expectation and said, this game is not this, it's not that, it's not this, it's not that. He said, there's going to be bugs. You're going to ask me. And I think this helped set the expectation for the players playing the game. Now, of course, there's still 2,200 negative reviews. Uh, but I think he probably cut the negative reviews in half just by doing that. So these are the recent examples. And I wanted to show you two different strategies per se when it comes to early access. One, doing the usual, you know, they did their marketing and they did their interviews before the release to pump up their game. Um, and another one went above and beyond and actually warned people prior to the game going early access because let's face it guys that's a risky move because some players that wanted to play that game probably read that and said oh wait a minute it's not that well then i'm not buying it so it probably cost him sales but in the same breath it also saved him for the people that were playing the game and it probably saved a ton of negative reviews. So my point is early access. I want to now come full circle and look at it from our perspective, us being the players. We understand, or I will tell you in my opinion, the game developers, again, there's no right or wrong. This is not what this video is about because I'm sure all of them toy with the idea, should we? Do early access or shouldn't we during their game development process and it must be a tough decision because like i said in the beginning there's no right or wrong answer however i also want to highlight one more thing i personally think us players have an unrealistic expectation of early access we purchase early access and want full release I don't think that's right. I don't think that's fair to the game developers. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, there are some things that shouldn't be in a game, early access or not, like performance issues. Those should not be a thing in 2024, not in today's day and age. For the love of God, everybody, uh, for sure, game developers should know that People, all people don't have high-end PCs, the limitations of consoles, et cetera, et cetera. If you're going to be building games of this status of in today's world, they gotta, they gotta be performances should performance issues should not exist to this degree of a problem. Like these are big, big time problems where you can't even load the game. That's that that's crazy, in, in my opinion. But us gamers, we we need to tone down the negativity when it comes to the expectation level of early access games. Like, in my opinion, I just think the bar is too high for us players. I, I really do. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of negative comments around me telling you guys to lower your expectations. But really, it's it's my opinion. I know that's how I am when I purchase an early access game. I know most likely when I purchase an early access game, there's going to be stuff missing. There's going to be glitches. There's going to be problems. But I'm purchasing early access because I want to be involved in helping make the game better and give my opinion on that. And I think that's kind of what we should the model we should all adopt as gamers. I don't understand this mentality of people crapping on an early access game about things that are about a full release game, if, if, if that makes any sense. So anyway, I'm not going to go on and on like I usually do, but I wanted to talk about this topic because 
I think it's relevant. More and more games or developers are releasing early access games. And I think it's a good thing. You want to know why? Because early access is done for two reasons in my mind. Of course, on the business side, it's there to raise money, funds, okay? But remember, the the raising funds because they need it to inject it into the game, whether it be more resources to make the game run better or get talent to make the game better and add more features. Um, but it's also to get our feedback, to get our hands, try it out, test it and give feedback. So I think those are two valid reasons. Like this ideology that no developer should charge money or greedy. I hear a lot of times when it comes to early access, some part of the player base always throws out the word, ah, oh, they're just being greedy. They're just grabbing money. Well, hello. Um, it takes money to make games. And don't get me wrong, of course, there are developers out there. It's so obvious that it's greed, 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 greed. They're just every second they can grab 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. You know, they're stuff that should be in the game they're trying to milk it for money so i i totally get it there are unfortunately developers like that but for the most part a good developer when they go early access there's two reasons they need funds to fund the project and they want to get players feedback to make the game better um so that's my stick that's my opinion i want to hear yours what do you think have you tried an early access game? Were you disappointed? Were you happy? How do you how do you manage early access games? And specifically on Steam, will you give a negative review on a Steam on an early access game knowing that the game is not complete but yet still complain about it? Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And what are your expectations when it comes to early access games? I'd love to hear it. Get in the comments section. We have a lot of great debates there. Anyway, that'll do it for today's video. And as always, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It'll help grow my channel. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.